Oh, yeah. He's, uh, I don't think he's coming in for a hug. Oh, my sweet lord. In this video, we'll be checking out the Elden Ring network test on the PlayStation 4. I'll be going in completely blind, so these will be first-time reactions. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now, let's get into the video. We have character selection. So, we got Warrior, Enchanted Knight, Prophet, Champion, or Bloody Wolf. Probably going to go with Bloody Wolf, I think. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be Bloody Wolf. Let's go for that. Uh, type A. All right, let's go. We've got a read message here. Praise the Elden Ring. Looks like we've still got the old roll. Uh, triangle heads up display. All right, let's check out if we can sprint. We can sprint by holding down the circle button. We could still do a back step. Still got the old roll. Very, very familiar uh, controls. Very, very Dark Souls. Uh, so I guess this bit is blocked off in the network test. Uh, touch Grace. Lost Grace. At rest at the site of Grace. Okay. Stranded Graveyard. We've got Past Time. Flasks. Memorize Spell. Sort Chest. Ashes of War. Leave. We've also got the time of day up there. It says early day. We have the option to pass time. Uh, I was going to check out Flasks. Distribute Flask Charges. With this menu, you can distribute the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP replenishing flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay. So, once again, that is very, that's, uh, very Dark Souls 3. I'm going to go, I'm going to go half and half for now. That should be fine. Let's try past time. Until morning, afternoon, nightfall. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Here we go. Oh, hell yes. This looks awesome. This uh, tree kind of reminds me, I don't know if anyone's ever played Evergrace. There's a really old uh, From Software game called Evergrace from the year 2000. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and it does have this tree in Evergrace as well. Uh, if you're interested in that, I actually did a full HD long play of Evergrace on my long play YouTube channel. You can find that on the front page of my main YouTube channel. Okay, so let's uh, let's crack on. I've got a feeling we're about to get jumped. Now in a From Software game. Ah, oh, nice. Acquire materials. We can uh, pick up these berries. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Nice. Uh, Rower fruit. Oh, this is really cool. Very, very uh, open world and gathering crafting type stuff. Oh my god. I was curious. I feel really bad now, but I was curious. I had to know. First off, gorgeous view. I'm so sorry. Oh man, everything is uh, you're able to interact with, with everything, which is just wild. Crazy stuff. Oh man. Thin animal bones. Oh, can we actually get the materials from the bird? It'd make me feel less bad. Oh no, we can't. I still feel bad then. So, moving swiftly forward. Right, jumping. I'm alright, thanks. Oh man, this is wild. This place is huge. So much to explore. Gathering and crafting to be done. 
Oops. Got something glowing off in the distance here and here as well. Let's check these out. Uh oh. Small golden effigy. Small red effigy. Okay. Uh, summoning pools. In each area, you might find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations, as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Summoning pool is now functional. Now this appears to be the uh, multiplayer type stuff. Sends cooperative sign to summoning pool. Sends competitive sign to summoning pool. Blue cipher ring enables the wearer to answer calls for rescue. When invaded, request the aid of a hunter. Sends another or oneself home. Uh, finger severer. Touch grace. Grace's guidance. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. Okay, so we've got the map. Use your map to check your current position and the terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at Stellis along the road. I don't know if I pronounced that word correctly. Uh, you can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Looks like we've got our first NPC up ahead. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Many bloodstains here. That's. Uh... I wonder if we can crouch. Oh, we can actually crouch. That's a left thumbstick in his crouch. I don't know if we're technically hidden. I don't think we are. I think it would make our character. Got some uh, Sekiro vibes with this one. So yeah, left uh, thumbstick pushed in. Gives us crouch. Oh my god. It's Gyobu Masataka. He's back. Half HP with one attack. Forgot what the uh, use item button is. It's square. Uh, right. Thumbstick in is lock on. So uh, R3 to lock on. Another half HP attack. Uh, this is potentially doable, however it may take some time just to get the move set down and... I'm just going to uh, two-hand this sword if it's possible. I'm not sure it is too possible. Okay, so that's a retreat from me. I need to change the um, flasks so that we're uh, using more of the, the healing flasks. So many berries to pick up. I wonder if we can rest at this site and replenish health. Ah, oh, we can. Uh, so let's go to flasks. We can actually distribute the flasks here at this site of grace. It doesn't have to be like one specific site of grace, it appears. Uh, it's allowed me to do this at two so far, so that's quite handy. Let's go in with four flasks. It's definitely a uh, Yobu jump there. Pop a cheeky heal. Massive stamina damage with that attack. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, the, so far the shield has been insanely uh, useful. Need to pop a heal when I can do. That's probably a good time. Ah, oh, damn, that's so much health with one attack, and that was my last flask as well. No way. First death, that was so close. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace at which you rested. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they are lost forever. So I would imagine that runes are the uh, sort of currency to use in this game. Just going to give that a quick try, one more try. So it looks like you can get some kind of uh, poise break, which is quite cool. And you also do a lot of damage if you do hit them during that. Almost got him. Good play it safe and heal up. He got hit by the giant attack. Oh no way, he's literally got one hit left. We got him. That was so clutch. That was so clutch. <laughs> I can't believe that we actually got him. That was crazy. Ashes of war. Ash of war, holy ground. Retrieve lost runes. Oh damn, dude. That was wild. <laughs> can't believe we actually got that. Can't believe we actually got that. Right, let's go straight back to the site of grace. Uh, right, cool. So let's go back to the site of grace and uh, rest up. So we took out that guy and uh, got that that ash, whatever that may be, ashes of war. Uh, so perhaps we can apply that to the weapon. Uh, Thunderbolt, ash of war. Okay, so we've made it to the sea. Can we swim though? That's the question. I don't think we can. That looks like a drop off, so... Yeah, I'm pretty confident that's death. The bloodstains will reveal all. Did this person jump in the water and die? Yes. Yes, they did. Oh, damn, we got some demon souls. Flashback with these. Nice. So we're now doing uh, lightning damage with the weapon as well, which is always good. Uh, we've got a few runes for that kill. Oh, we've got some kind of uh, jump thing here. Jump while on horseback near a spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into a spirit spring while on horseback, even from a great height. X at the spirit spring while on horseback. Okay, well, we're definitely not on horseback, so... We're not going to be able to use the spirit spring at this time. I think what we'll do is probably just focus on the main... Guidance, the main, uh, the main quest. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. We've got the From Software Jebait. Ambush boss ahead. Okay, let's see how tricky these bad boys are. Gonna focus on the ranged first of all. She's just gonna get in the way, so. Ah, not too bad. It's maybe it's the lightning sword that's doing the damage here. Oh, 
Oh, that one's still alive. I thought he was dead. Yeah, we're going to back up. We're going to back up. Oh, they've come back alive. Ah, so they're going to keep on reviving by the looks of it. May just leave that for now. Oh, I've got an NPC under here. Awesome. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Uh, nomadic merchant. Purchase, sell, leave. With the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. Sounds good. Uh, a lump of flesh. Hmm. Excellent. Uh, used for crafting items, smouldering butterfly, poison bloom, uh, blood rose, root resin, armor's cookbook, expands crafting, oh hell yes, expands uh, our craft crafting recipes, which is always good, um, the yellow flame of frenzy bursts from your eyes, the, the flame of frenzy, let's purchase a lump of flesh, never know when you might need a lump of flesh, Let's, uh, let's grab those. Can we steal this? Um, I don't think this is really going to... It doesn't look like it's going to go fast. To be fair, does it? Definitely not a speedy mount. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to run back up the hill. We'll get back up somehow. So let's see if we can get back up. Looks like we encountered some enemies on the way. Oh damn, we got... A few of them popping out. And they do die pretty quick, so that's good. It's just getting to them because there's loads of them, so they're going to be quite try and like overwhelm you, sort of thing. Oh man, this game is insanely good. I am very, very impressed. Very impressed. Uh, vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Uh, the number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Okay, cool. So I think that's just given us a flask replenish there. So taking out groups replenishes flasks. There's a turtle here. I'm going to feel really bad, but... Defense turtle. Turtle neck meat. Tasty. Uh oh, that looks really bad. I'm curious. We're probably going to get attacked and we're probably going to get destroyed. But I'm very curious to check those enemies out. Just going to look up here before we jump in. I actually can't believe that we can just jump, like actual jump jump. Not the old uh, From Software jump from before. Wild. I wonder if they're actually... I'm just going to test if they're actually hostile. Yes. The answer is yes. Got some long tentacles. I, I don't want to be uh, in them. Oh, damn. That's, it's literally taken zero damage. Oh, damn. Oh, you can get a actual critical strike, which is wild. I did try that earlier on the uh, horseback boss, but I couldn't seem to get the right angle. Oh, nice. So, yeah, critical strikes with those um, makes short work of those. Land octopus ovary. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Strip of white flesh. I'm getting some uh, orphan of cost vibes right now. I don't know about you. Octopus ovary. Not sure how useful that's going to be, but I uh, guess we'll find out. Okay, cool. We've made it over towards the bonfire. I love how this game is giving me such a sense of adventure. It's really nice to uh, get this vibe from a game. 
Uh, this guy does not look friendly. No, okay, never mind. I thought he was going to be a, uh, an NPC that we can talk to. It looks like he doesn't really want to talk. As far as I can tell. I mean... Oh, I was going for the charge, but he got his charge off first. All right, let's uh, get this on then, shall we? wonder if we can parry this guy. That would be quite a good... Definitely not parry that one. Hesitation is defeat there. Oh, god damn, he's got a gap closer as well. Uh, we're pretty screwed at this point. The Lightning Sword is doing pretty decent work against this guy, although he's gone into Berserk mode, which is uh, not ideal. We got him. Just. Okay, so you can get back up the cliff here. However, we have another problem. Um, we seem to have a giant. So, that's not ideal. If we can sneak past. Maybe he's a friendly giant. I'm, I'm guessing not, by the way, that he's kind of roaring in our general direction probably oh yeah it's, uh, i don't think he's coming in for a hug as far as i can see he's got a lot of health he's got a lot of health oh damn i'm uh i think i'm gonna go this way not sure if you can outrun a giant i'm guessing not but uh Oh, so we do actually have a stamina bar for sprint when we are classed as in battle. Um, so I didn't see that stamina bar going down before when we weren't getting chased by a giant. But now I think the game is classing us in battle. So it's decided to uh, pop the stamina bar usage on us. Oh, damn. I'm going to... Giant sword on his back as well. Not sure if we can rest at this still, even though he's right there. Uh, yes, we can. Sounds good to me. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, we're going to focus on the main uh, guidance at this point. So we've got the guidance up there. What's the matter? Shouldn't you be and we're going to follow that guidance. We've taken out this horse back guy. Explored down the beach. Let's try the sprint again. So yeah, we're sprinting now and the game is classing us not in battle. And because we're classed as not being in battle, it looks like we have infinite stamina at that time. So that actually is a really, really cool mechanic. Quite like that. Uh, I can't seem to see that light of grace anymore. Oh, here we go. I think, is this it? Yeah, looks like it is. We've got another resurrection point here. Lost race recovered. Uh, fast travel to sites of grace. Uh, through your map, you can instantly travel to any site of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. So does that give us the extra option on the menu here or we do it from the map? We do it from the map, it seems. So let's try that. Ah, there we go. The uh, the middle button on the PlayStation, the uh, the touchpad, is the one that brings up the, the menu on the PS4. Uh, with the map menu, you can check your current position and the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Awesome, so this is like really, really open world. Just whip out the old map and press a place and fast travel. Awesome. Looks like we can place down beacons. I wonder if that beacon will show... So say for example we put a beacon here and then close the map. Is that actually going to show the beacon in the open world? Well, at least puts it on the compass so we've kind of got a direction. We can then follow that beacon in that direction so that is awesome let's check uh, 
this area out before we move on. Um, Santa Claus? You're tarnished. Okay, so cool. We've got uh, Carle, the, uh, the merchant. Let's have a look. Uh, recommendation. Let's check that out. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Awesome. So uh, Carle's recommendation is to get a crafting kit. Um, I'm hoping that he has that somewhere. So let's take a look at crafting kit. Here we go. Enables the practice of item crafting. That seems uh, insanely useful. So yes, let's check that bad boy out. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Okay, I think the merchant that we bumped into before actually had some kind of cookbook. I probably should have bought that whilst I was down there, but I kind of overlooked it. Uh, yeah, so let's expand the crafting recipes and buy these uh, these uh, cookbooks here. So we've got Deserter's Cookbook and we got Missionary's Cookbook. Uh, Lone Wolf Ashes. Noble Sorcerer's Ashes. Uh, summons noble sorceress oh i've got summons i have to check these out telescope how many runes have we currently got three thousand so we might as well smash through these we can we can get all of that um with a spirit caller's bell you can use ashes to summon various spirits summoning typically consumes fp or magic you can only summon one type of spirit at a time cannot summon spirits during multiplayer with the item crafting menu you can make various items from materials that you find you can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks okay so cookbooks seem to be insanely important so we've got to be picking up those cookbooks um oh i see how this works so basically these are the things that we have learnt to make or cook and then the required items are in the middle so, for example, if we want to make a pickled turtle neck, boosts stamina recovery for a short time. We need the rower fruit and we need turtle neck meat. So turtle neck meat, turtle neck meat, we need one and rower fruit, we need five. So we can make some pickled turtle neck. Should we go for the attack? I feel like we should. Let's try it. Yes, we can get stealth kills from behind. Excellent. Love it. It looks like there's a bunch of these enemies here. Let's try the stealth mechanic. Nice. Stealth kill number two. Gonna see if we can get some stealthy kills in this area. Nice. I'm actually really enjoying this. Map. Uh, Limgrave Brackets West. Okay, cool. So maybe that's uh, a new map has been found. Oh, my good lord rude okay we'll try that again Let the map again uh so yeah a new map has been found not sure if we can zoom in zoom out but the multiplayer locations you can show and hide the multiplayer locations oh yeah you can uh, the right stick that basically zooms in or zooms out using that right stick this enemy it looks like a bit of a beast so i'm gonna ideally try and get a stealth kill if possible but uh, i'm not sure we'll be able to make it up there in time and get the stab but let's find out ah they came to investigate us i see like it's uh Standard fight time then. Uh, they take decent damage, but it's uh, obviously that shield is a bit of a beast to uh, go up against. Nice, we got them with a charged R2. That'll do. 
that'll do. Ideally, I was going for the stealth there, but uh, we got there. We got there. Nice. Double kill. How oh, cool is a chest here? Uh, we've got some robes, sorcerer stuff. We've got a mask. Sounds good to me. Let's grab that stuff. I actually want to try out that summoning thing as well because we've got that summoning ability. I just don't understand at the minute how we actually summon. Oh, here we go. Uh, summons three wolves. Ah, oh, nice. Let's go. Got to give this a try. I wonder if we can like resummon them again, or is it just a one-time use, or... Oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Let's go uh, take these out, then. If we've got three wolves on the team, let's get cracking. Oh, and they've got health bars as well. I wonder if we can actually attack them, like, hit them by mistake, if that makes sense. Um, Ideally, we don't want to be doing that. Ah, uh, no, that's cool. So, if you've got a summon, then you can't hit them by mistake, so feel free to go uh, crazy with your attacks. That works out pretty well. Nice. Nice. Quite uh, interested to check out the other summons now. Uh, you'll notice it has also taken our magic bar down by quite a significant chunk. So, I would imagine that we can only do one summon. And we've not brought any of the magic flasks uh, with us at this time. So I think there's an item here as well. So if you see these things, like these giant cart things, it looks like there's usually a chest on the back. And uh, we've got another cookbook. So sounds good to me. Always looking to expand the old cooking knowledge. Sight of Grace here. I wonder if we rest, if the wolves will go or stay. Greetings, traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? I have not. The two fingers. Oh, nice. Spectral Steed Whistle. Sounds good to me. We can uh, whip out the old horse. Uh, so it looks like we now have the option to level up via this Melina, the Finger Maiden. So let's go back to the sword. Or maybe we can like light the way in the night time with this torch. Switch over to the steed whistle. Oh, nice. We can also sprint. Oh man, this thing is fast. Can we shoot the bow and arrow? On horseback? That would be awesome. Oh, we can. Nice. This is really cool. Let's try out the sword. I wonder if we'll get knocked off the horse if we get attacked by these. Nice. Now this is a lot faster. A lot faster. And uh, I just got to say, this feels very fluent in terms of controls. You got like double jump. 
Um, it just feels really smooth. Especially in comparison to From Software's older games. Okay, so we've got Stormgate. What I'm going to do, because we're probably going to die in this area, is uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, you can jump off as well. I can press uh, L3 whilst running. I'm just going to rest at this site of grace here. Um, just because we might die inside this area, so it's probably a good idea to... Class that as a resurrection point, so... Let's head on in. Going to go ahead and storm this castle. Oh, damn. We just got trapped, question mark, in something. And now there's a giant. Excellent. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to whip out the old flask. And drink the flask on horseback. Always good, always good. Uh, I think we might have, like, run into a trap or something there. I wasn't 100% sure what it actually was, but it stopped us from uh, running forward, so. wonder if we stand a chance because we're on horseback. Maybe not. No, his HP pool is insanely large, so. I think we'll leave that for now. He was about to blow a horn of some kind there. Okay, I'm just going to stay on uh, target here, stay on path. Many wolves. Okay, cool. We are all clear. Let's uh, jump on forward. What is that all about? Oh, it's like a uh, Ash of War. Carrion Glint Sword. Um, so yeah, that's like the, um, the Crystal Lizards, that kind of thing. Uh, Wandering Nightmare, that item, that type of enemy, I would imagine. It seems like it, anyway. It gives us, it gave us a uh, extra sort of like power up thing. One of the uh, Ashes of War power ups that we can apply to our armament. That's cool. Uh, technically, we can just skip past these as well if you wanted to. Or obviously kill them for, for extra runes. Or run into a massive explosion and die. That's also an option. I'm not sure what this means. Please choose revival location. Stake of Marika. Or last site of grace. Uh I'm just interested to see what the stake is, so I'm going to try it. Um, Storm Hill. Stake of Marika. Uh, well, I actually don't know what that means, but it's it's put us here. So is there something here that perhaps... No, that's the, that's the runes that we lost. Hmm. I'm actually not quite sure what that stake of Marika means. Ah, maybe it's this? Maybe it's this? It's like acts as some kind of checkpoint, perhaps? As far as I can see. That's the only thing that I can see around here. Anyway, I can't see anything else, so... Okay, we've got a summoning pool here as well. This doesn't look too ideal. We're probably going to get uh, destroyed here. Can we summon the horse in this section? We cannot. Ah. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. All right, here we go then. Um.
Let's see how we do. This is a really cool boss design, by the way. This guy is, is quite agile. He's quite agile. He's kind of like here, there, and everywhere. He's definitely got the uh, the trigger for when we use a flask. He's got a, a move progr programmed in to throw knives if we try to heal up. Which we're probably going to find out. He's going to do it again right about now. Oh, no, he's not. It's fine. Got quite a large HP pool. We're not really doing a lot of damage to him at all, to be totally honest. We may need to come back here at some point. Further down the line. Oh, we can actually summon as well. I just realized that we can summon. However, it's probably a little bit too late to do that. Uh, they need to be set on the quick items, really, to be able to summon, so... Yeah, tried to summon, got killed. Uh, so yeah, we probably should try and summon before the fire starts. There we go, so we've got the three wolves. Uh, luckily, it's not too long of a summon time, so... Watch out for that dagger of his. The critical, nice. I think we can summon the. Um... Watch out for that, it's a beast. I did roll, but it's uh, slightly late. That's the doggos down, so can we summon again? No. So only one summon per... ...battle, it seems, anyway. Oh damn, that's uh, an absolute beast attack. Yeah, no more summons. So it might be worth just going in with four healing flasks instead of the magic because we don't really need any more magic. If we can only summon one time, then no point in taking in the Oh. Yes, guess I'll die. I'll do the summon again straight off the bat. We'll try the other summon, see what it's like. I'm a bit late to that. Sorcerer. See how the sorcerer does. Eleven damage, not uh, great. Yeah, not uh, not fantastic. Might not be the uh, the best option for this fight. Well, that's the end of the source, right? The hammer is an absolute 
animal is hammer time. And the shockwave afterwards as well. I'm not even quite sure how to approach that situation. Oh damn dude, he's now whipped out another attack. Wombo combo sword. Okay, cool. So I think we'll probably come back to that boss fight a little bit later. Uh, could ideally, ideally do with uh, pumping up the sword a little bit. Uh, getting some levels up and stuff like that. As we've not really done anything like that at all so far. Uh, I'm just going to see if we can travel east. And see what is in that direction. Let's see if the network test uh, allows us to go far to the east. Like we've got a campfire of some kind. Oh my sweet lord. Have mercy on my soul. Uh, was not expecting that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Uh... Excellent. Excellent. Oh, one shot kill. Oh no, we're actually alive. Oh, we're not alive anymore. We're dead. I see. Um, so yes, it does allow us to go east. Um, however, it also spawns a dragon. Um, so we respawned at that stake. I believe it's these uh, sort of statues here that act as like a, a checkpoint sort of thing. Uh, we did have some runes over there, but I'm not going to lie to you. It's not really looking very likely that we're going to be getting those runes back. Uh, we can certainly try. Perhaps we can whip out the horse and maybe grab them. I'll certainly give it a go, but... Uh... The compass has also disappeared off the map. Got the runes back, but... Uh... I wonder if we can de-aggro the boss. I'm not sure how this will work, but we'll certainly give it a go. Not sure if the music will eventually sort of die off. Oh, yes, it has. Um, music's gone off. The compass has come back. So yeah, you can actually just uh, run away and leave them for another time. Okay, cool. That takes out the escorts. Let's see... Trying to get into a position where I can do damage to him, but he can't do damage to me. So it looks like they are quite uh, restricted in what they can do. Oh, we got a proper hollow here, going for the hollow uh, multi-attack that we're all very, very familiar with. Uh, so now that they've stopped, maybe can we get on the back? Oh no, they've continued again, so guess not. Got a quick reaction time as well, very, very quick. Oh, the health bar is actually quite low. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that low, actually, so maybe we can do something. Might take some time, but I'm just going to basically do one attack, uh, roll back. One attack, roll back. Until we take them out. Oh, maybe we can get a critical strike if we're quick. We can. Nice. Uh, well, that takes them out. Luckily, they are kind of chained to the actual uh, thing itself. So obviously, they're not free to run around and 
attack us. So basically we just need one attack roll back, one attack roll back until we finally took them out. Uh, let's see if we can actually open the chest. We can. And the reward is... Oh, nice! Uh, that looks really, really good. Uh, crucible set. How do we how do we two-hand this greatsword? I actually don't know how we two-hand the greatsword. However, the armor set looks insanely good. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, what did I just press to do that? I think it was... Okay, so on this game, you got to hold down triangle and then press R1. Or R2. So hold down triangle, R1. Hold down triangle, R2. I wonder if that's the thing that we saw before that pushes us up into the air. Um, so I'm tempted to give that a try. Um, feeling slightly apprehensive about jumping off a cliff. We could certainly give it a go. Let's uh, give it a try, shall we? Uh, hopefully we land in the actual thing itself. Oh, the uh, network test is over. <laughs> so find out next time. Okay, so that is the end of network test number one. I do believe that we do get some opportunities later on in the week to try it out again. So I'll jump back in a bit later to check out some more Elden Ring.